Welcome to our Fun Buzzer video. This video is designed to acquaint you with the various products in the classic Fun Buzzer line. We know that the more choices you have, the more information you need to make the right choice. In this video, we will show you our Fun Buzzer products and demonstrate how they work so that you can be confident in choosing the appropriate components for your application. The Fun Buzzer is an extremely reliable standalone game system which requires no computer for operation. It is powered by AC line current, so there are no batteries to run down, and the various components are interconnected by wire so it is not susceptible to interference from wireless devices. Now, follow along as we show you what we have to offer. The control unit is the brain of the Fun Buzzer system. It contains the system logic which provides the lockout function, which acknowledges only the first player to buzz in at any given time. The control unit supplies the approximately one second buzz sound when any contestant buzzes in. It also has the reset button for the system to be rearmed by the game moderator when the question has been answered or it's time to allow other players the opportunity to respond to a question. Each control unit can accommodate up to eight of any remote unit types that we will cover in the next segment. We offer two types of control units, the standard control unit and the station master control unit. Both of these perform the same basic functions we just described, but the Station Master has a set of LEDs on top that indicate to the game moderator which remote unit has buzzed in. This is a convenience when the player positions are arranged so that it is difficult for the moderator to see the contestant's remote units, such as when the game is spread out across the stage. Some of our customers buy the Station Master control unit even though they might not need its added feature at the moment because they are looking ahead to being able to use the system in any possible set of operating conditions or in ways they may not have even thought of as yet. Now we'll look at our single player remotes. There are two classes of remote units in the Fun Buzzer lineup with four remotes in each class. We call the first group of four single player or individual remotes. The single player remotes are what you would use when you want to provide each of your players his or her own push button and like combination. These can also be used when players are organized into opposing groups with each group having a team captain or someone designated to push the button so that the team will be called upon to answer the question. The first in the lineup is the simplest and most economical unit, the tabletop remote. This unit has a push button and light mounted on a sturdy plastic box and is designed to sit on the table in front of each player in the game. This is where the name tabletop comes from. Notice the size and brightness of the light. These lights can normally be seen from considerable distances, such as in an auditorium or conference room. The bulbs used in these lights last almost forever. When a contestant buzzes in, the light on their remote unit lights and the buzzer in the control unit sounds. The moderator then takes their answer, resets the system, and the game continues. The second type is the wand remote unit. This unit is different in that the push button is mounted in a handheld wand. This feature gives players more of the feeling that they are playing the TV game show Jeopardy. The third type is the Slap It. This unit is actuated by, as you may have guessed by now, slapping the target area on the box. This unit has proven itself to be extremely durable and results in a high energy form of play. After all, people like to hit things, and this remote is a hit among players. Last in the series of single-player remotes is also our newest offering, the Light Bar Timer Remote Unit. This unit is wand-activated, just like our wand remote, but instead of having a light on top of the unit, a bright LED light bar across the face of the box comes on when the contestant buzzes in. Then, over a six and a half second time period, the light bar resolves into a shrinking timer which culminates in a bright red light, signifying the time for that contestant to answer the question has run out. At that point, the system lockout is automatically released, the system is rearmed, and another contestant is free to buzz in. If the whole six and a half seconds is not required for the answer, the system can also be manually reset at the control unit at any time, just like with any of the other remote units. The second group of four is the Team 5 remotes. The Team 5 remotes can be used when the play is organized into competing groups of up to five players in each group and each player has access to a button to buzz in from their station. This is how these units have come to have the Team 5 designation assigned to them. Again, the first in this lineup is the simplest and most economical unit, the Team 5 tabletop remote. 
This unit has a single light on top of the box, but it has five push buttons that give each player on the team access to their own button when they want to buzz in. When any of these five players buzzes in, the moderator knows instantly which team buzzed in, but not which player on the team. If the game emphasis is only on team response and not individual response, this unit is suitable for the purpose. The second type, the Team 5 Plus Tabletop Remote, adds a feature that identifies not only which remote unit buzzed in, but also which of the players at that location buzzed in. At the same time the big light on top of the unit comes on, one of the yellow LEDs mounted across the face of the unit also comes on. Each of these LEDs corresponds to one of the individual players at that location. Finally, we have two versions of the previously described Team 5 units that feature wand activation, which gives the players the feel of the Jeopardy style of play. The Team 5 wand remote has a single light on top of the box, but it has five wands that give each player on the team access to their own button when they want to buzz in. When any of these five players buzzes in, the moderator can tell which team buzzed in, but not which player on the team. With the Team 5 plus wand remote, at the same time the big light on top comes on, one of the yellow LEDs mounted across the face of the unit also comes on. These LEDs correspond to each of the individual players at that location. ESPN College Football, the Chick-fil-A Bowl, is brought to you by Chick-fil-A. We didn't invent the chicken, just the chicken sandwich. And the United States Marine Corps, the few, the proud, the Marines. Uh, yes. Cousins. Well, another one of the fun activities during bowling for the teams, a la family feud. It was football feud Monday night.